Oh, Everett, they saved the best for last. Now, did they? Well, well, there you go. <laughs> I tell you, my favorite uh, celebrity chef, Jamie Gwynn, is always a pleasure to have her. And, guys, we know that Memorial Day is just around the corner. And who better to get the recipes and essentials from my celebrity chef, Jamie? And, Jamie, look, where, where, where do we start with your favorite foods to grill? Oh, we've got so much to grill. I brought my grill game. Everett, I love being with you, so thank you for having me back. Yes, uh, the grilling season is upon us, right? And I think that it's very hopeful for so many. We're going to be outdoors and the weather is warming and a little bit of normalcy, right? And I am a girl at the grill. I love to grill. So I brought you a couple new product finds. I've got some recipes to share. Um, I've got some really good stuff. Um, I love the smoky flavor off the grill. So when you ask recipes, the first thing I think of is everybody's favorite protein, right? The most requested recipe search on the internet. And that is chicken, of course. And for grilling, I use Tyson brand, fresh boneless skinless chicken breast. I like it because it's 100% all natural. It's no antibiotics ever. It's farm raised chicken. But for okay. me, it grills up the juiciest. It's the most tender and plump. And I make a garlic lime marinade that is full of fabulous flavor. And I love it for the chicken breast right off the grill. You wanna let them rest, by the way, three, four minutes when they come off the grill. This applies to all protein. You wanna make sure that you let the juices recirculate. But leftover chicken breasts come Taco Tuesday, you shred them, you will be a culinary hero. This is the best chicken taco you've ever had. And the recipe for the marinade, by the way, Everett, is at Tyson.com. Okay. And I okay. know any twist you got, Jamie, for it to change up on the grill to something. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a great twist here. So you know, I'm a meat eater, but the plant-based mm -hmm. protein movement continues more popular than ever, in fact. And so I like to try out new products. And from Raised and Rooted, they make or are debuting. I got a chance to taste their plant-based burger patty. They're also debuting sausages just in time for grilling season. Now it's made from pea protein and it's this plant-based burger has fabulous, amazing flavor. 21 grams of protein, by the way, 75% less fat. But from a chef's perspective, I will tell you, it's the texture that I love. It is spot on like a traditional beef burger. Now I make a mustard grilled double cheeseburger using the patties. This is fashioned, a recipe fashioned after my favorite burger place. You brush the patty with a thin layer of yellow mustard and it seeps in on the grill and you get this really great crust. It's a winner of a burger. Now, if you're a sausage person, you've got to check out Raised and Rooted new plant-based Italian sausage. It really plumps up on the grill. Put it in a bun, slice it with grilled veggies. Uh, it's awesome. It's a fascinating uh, plant-based world. So check it out at raisedandrooted.com. And then last but not least, I am definitely going kebabs this summer, and I love okay. to grill meatballs, Everett. I know it sounds crazy. I'm an Adele's <laughs> lover. They have a, a bevy of flavors when it comes to meatballs. You know they are, <clears throat> excuse me, artisanal chicken smoked sausage. I love the chicken apple. Everybody does. But they just came out with smoked beef sausage links, and it's a premium, all-natural beautiful sausage that I'm going to make kebabs with. This is the Cotija cheese and fire roasted poblano smoked beef sausage. Little tomatillo salsa over that. Uh, delectable, really. Visit adels.com for more recipe inspiration there. And then all the information is at dailylounge.com as usual, of course. Now, Shale uh, Shale Shale listen, I got to ask you, I, I, I love meatballs. I never thought about grilling them. And I'm gonna do it now. Okay, good. I'm glad you are because sometimes you know you do you do have to sort of expand your horizons when it comes to the grill. So throw some of those Adele's meatballs or your favorite meatballs on the grill, um, and then I serve them in like as a cocktail snack when everybody's milling around outside. You know, just as you start to right. grill for the night. Yeah, it is a, a great protein pack snack. Adele's has a, a whole slew of flavors, so you pick your favorite. But sometimes you want to do something different, right? And at chefjamie.com, by the way, I have thousands of recipes for grilling so that you can, you know, make a new stuffed mushroom this year or uh, grill the perfect steak, right? I mean, the better time, there's never been a better time rather than ever to master the grill 
Um, and we really do have some hope in the fact that summer is upon us and we should get cooking. Well, I tell you, I've always learned something from you. Celebrity Chef Jamie Gwynn has been with us. DailyLounge.com for what we talked about today. And uh, ChefJamie.com. Get her recipes, guys. I'm going there to get some more meatballs on the way. <laughs> Thanks, Celebrity Chef. <laughs> Everett, thank you. Talk to you soon. You stay well. Happy grilling. Okay, thanks. Happy grilling. Bye-bye.